Hi, um, this is Adam Weiner. I'm the program chair for iCal 2021. I'm sure that you already know that since you've been here uh, for the week with us. Uh, thank you very much for attending the conference and the workshops and the doctoral uh, consortium. So uh, here we have the awards and the closing session, the closing comments, not a closing session, but closing comments. Um, so uh, what I'll do here is to announce the awards uh, for the conference. And then I'll make some uh, closing remarks. Uh, and uh, just before I announce the closure of the conference, I will uh, turn over to my colleagues, uh, Juliano and Enrico, who are with me, uh, for their uh, brief remarks. Okay, thanks. So let's turn to the fun business. Um, so we had a, a range of really excellent talks uh, the whole time during the conference, as well as the workshops, but I'll focus here on the conference. Uh, and in such circumstances, it's not easy to make choices about, you know, what's the best paper, right? Uh, and this is particularly so where there's uh, lots of work with comparably high standards that's done to comparably high standards. Uh, so um, nonetheless, um, choices are, have to be made, right? Uh, and it brings a bit of excitement to the um, overall proceedings. So um, here I'm going to announce the awards, uh, starting from the Doctoral Consortium Best Paper Award. Uh, this was a paper awarded um, after the work that was uh, contributed to the Doctoral Consortium, uh, uh, led by uh, Michal Arshkevich um, and Monica Palmarini. Um, and uh, this is arranged to see that new researchers in AI and law get feedback and engagement from more experienced uh, hands and get support from them. So the Doctoral Consortium Best Paper Award goes to the Digital Administrative Act by Alexander Stepanov. Okay, thank you very much. Um, let's give him some uh, claps there. Thank you. Uh, let me just move my screen over a little bit so I can see a little bit more interactively. Michal has joined us. Hi. Um, next is the Carol Hafner iCal 2021 Best Paper Award. Um, only some in this audience have had the honor of knowing Carol. Um, uh, she was one of the founders of AI and Law. The Best Paper Award is given in memory of Carol Hafner, who is an Associate Professor of Computer Science at Northeastern University. She's one of the founders of the iCal Conference and a co-founding editor of the journal Artificial Intelligence and Law, which is, by the way, the journal that sort of is the benchmark for this field and is worth keeping eyes on. So uh, the Carol Hafner Best Paper Award is when does pre-training help assessing self-supervised learning for law and the case hold data set of 53,000 plus legal holdings by Gua Zheng, Anderson, Henderson, and Ho. Congratulations again. I'll make a remark about the awards. Very good. Uh, I'll say some words about this paper. The work addresses the question of when researchers should engage in domain-specific pre-training. They find conditions under which pre-training is useful, and the work is very well developed, contributes a data set, and contributes to our understanding of this very important topic. So then we move on to the Peter Jackson Award for Best Innovative Application Paper. The Best Innovative Application Paper Award is dedicated to the memory of Peter Jackson, who was Thomson Reuters Chief Research Scientist, and he was a strong supporter of the ICAL conferences and a significant co contributor to the development of advanced technologies in AI and law. And I should also just remark that um, uh, Peter Jackson set a tradition at Thomson Reuters for engaging with the AI and law community, which is in evidence uh, by some of the colleagues who uh, are still with us, working with us uh, from Thomson Reuters. 
So you know, we owe it, uh, a word of thanks to Thomson Reuters and the community there for supporting the conferences all these years. The best paper goes to From Data to Information, Automating Data Science to Explore the US Court System by, and here's a long list of authors, I'll name them all because they deserve it. Paley, Li Zhao, Pak, Cervantes, Adler, Sturbens, Pa, Schwartz, Barry, uh, Einarsson, and Hammond. The work enhances utility of legal data and removes barriers to information access by applying automated analytical and visualization capabilities to the, to the data. There's a systematic classification of data and a demonstration was given to us quite nicely of interactive filtering to provide alternative and deepening views into the data. So thank you very much. Thank you, Congra congratulations to them. Uh, and our final award paper is the Donald H. Berman Award for Best Student Paper. The Best Student Paper Award is in memory of Donald H. Berman, a professor of law at Northeastern University, who is a co-founder of the Artificial Intelligence and Law Journal. And it is worth a remark here that Donald Berman and Carol Hafner were early uh, colleagues, were colleagues at a very early point in AI and law. They collaborated on a number of very early important papers and are kind of the best instance of collaboration across computer science and law, right? So they're really the model for that kind of work uh, to be done. The Donald Berman Best Student Paper Award is going to incorporating domain knowledge for extractive summarization of legal case documents. That's by Bhattacharya, Podar, Rud, uh, Rudra, Ghosh, and Ghosh. The work provides an approach to domain-specific extractive summarization for court proceedings of the Indian Supreme Court. The method focuses on representing all important sections of a court document in the summary. There's an argument to, be, to make that Delsum, that's their approach, their, Delsum's best approach, uh, performance is notable because it's unsupervised. So congratulations to them as well. And as I mentioned, um, that's the announcement of the awards. Congratulations to all the recipients of the awards. Uh, there will be a follow-up uh, about what the awards are and how they'll be sent to you and these kinds of things. We don't want it to just be words on camera, but something in hand, okay? So there will be a follow-up about this. Okay, so the next piece of business is to make some closing remarks. Um, I'll go over this rather quickly. So it's been a long, rich week of workshops, conference papers, and keynote speakers, uh, as well as the doctoral consortium. And I'm sure that you found it to be a very stimulating and meaningful week uh, where you know, new work is being exposed and advances on older work is being done and uh, other data uh, and resources are being exposed. Just to remark, by the way, I, I have found it very interesting how many papers are making uh, their code, their models, and their data publicly available for further research and development, uh, even though people didn't submit specifically to the reproducibility thread of the conference, people nonetheless did that in their papers. That is the way that scientific development in this community is going to move ahead. So thank you very much to everybody who contributed resources and makes their models and code available as well. We hope that you've reconnected with old friends and colleagues online, as well as made new connections to far-flung contacts. That's particularly important given the online conference where we're really allowing a network of global contacts as never before. Um, part of uh, AAIL's uh, mission is to encourage interdisciplinarity, international collegiality, and we hope that you've made use of that and experienced that yourselves. Uh, as you know, the talks are already available for review on the IAAIL YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, we hope that you might find to review some of that and share the available materials with your colleagues and your students. This is a new addition to the conference and uh, <clears throat> we think that it's going to be very useful going forward. On behalf of the IAAIL Executive Committee and myself, we wish to thank everyone who worked hard over months and months to make iCal 2021 excellent. Many thanks to the following uh, individuals and groups. <clears throat> 
So first, I'd like to thank personally the uh, conference chair, Juliana Moranjo, and the local organizing team who took on the new task to put ICAL 2021 online and did so in very trying circumstances. It was, you know, given the pandemic, we had to rethink how things were going to be done uh, and with great, a lot of additional stress. I'd also like to thank the IAAIL secretary, Mikhail Arshkevich, along with Ann Gardner, who addressed a range of administrative and management matters. The complexity, volume, and detail of these matters are daunting. Believe me, I saw a lot of what they were doing, and I was like in awe of what they've seen us through. So thank you very much for all your work and all of your help and support through this. Of course, the most substantive contributors were the authors who carried all, all, all the research and writing, as well as the reviewers who took the time to assess and discuss the submissions. Uh, the authors and the reviewers shaped the content of the conference, which advanced the knowledge methods and realizations of AI and law. Uh, also to thank the organizers and presenters at their workshops and conf uh, doctoral consortium who all extended the discussion in specific ways and also supported emerging researchers, which is essential for the continuity of this field. We want to thank our sponsors who provided essential recognition and support. You've heard their names several times over the course of the week, so I will not repeat them here. Um, we're most appreciative of the IAAIL Executive Committee itself, which promotes AI and law research through the ICAL conferences. Um, so many others have given their time, knowledge, and support over the months to collectively realize ICAL 2021, and there are too many people to thank each and every one, but nonetheless, you know who you are. The ICAL 2021 <clears throat> team is deeply appreciative, excuse me, of the re registrants, that is the general audience, uh, who signed up, took the time and participated in the many forums uh, that were on offer at ICAL. We thank you for joining us and participating in ICAL 2021. And we look forward to keeping in contact about AI and law over the coming months and years. So uh, we look forward to the next edition of ICAL, hopefully live and in person, as well as perhaps online. <clears throat> So before I lose my voice entirely, uh, let me turn it over to my colleagues, Juliano and Enrico, for some brief remarks from them. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you very much, Adam. And uh, um, it was really, as I said, a challenge to uh, put up this uh, conference entirely online for the first time. Uh, we took the challenge here in the, by the local organizers. I just would like to thank nominally each of them because they really um, dedicated a, a lot of energy this last month and it, will, it would really be impossible to organize and to have the conference without their work and their dedication. So uh, the local uh, committee was uh, uh, formed previously by Alini McCoyne, Renata Wasserman, Alexandre Zavaglia, Roberto Bornhausen and Marcelo Lopes, but we soon noticed that we will, we will need more hands. And several of my students and also researchers from the Logarithm Institute raised her, their hands to join the team. So I would like to thank Andrea Eller, Bruna Trevelin, Felipe Baccarolo, Fernanda Suriani, Gabriel Borner, Igor Burigo, Poliana Dukek and Rafael Campedelli, uh, but special thanks to Alini Makorin, who made a very uh, excellent work by uh, building the website with all those functionalities and information. I was, I was ready to, to complete our uh, several demands. And Roberto Bornhausen, who was uh, really ahead of different fronts, uh, really involved and dedicated uh, an excellent and successful contributions to make this happen. I would like also to thank our hosts, uh, André Gualtieri, Guilherme Kenzo, Jackson Souza, Julia Alves, Lara Garcia, Leonardo Jimbo, Lucas Morimoto, Luisa Pavei, Marcel Hoffling, Rafael Sarivali, Samuel Oliveira and Tobias Klein. All of you were uh, quite important and essential 
for the communication with the uh, uh, speakers. And I think all went well uh, because of your hard work. Thank you very much. I'm really happy with the results and the numbers of the conference. And uh, this is special thanks must go to all of you who uh, dedicated so hard these months and within this week of this wonderful conference. Thank you very much. Just a few words from my side too. Uh, uh, I would like just uh, to thank you very, very much for your hard work, for your uh, professionality, for your commitment, uh, in particular to Adam, who did a great job in uh, uh, selecting papers, uh, assigned reviewers, uh, and it's been a really uh, hard task for him. Um, and to uh, Michael, who was uh, leading the, um, the doctoral consortium, as well as the, the, all the other, uh, the other organizers of the workshop, and uh, uh, particularly to you, Juliano, because you took the, the risk of uh, going online with this uh, mm -hmm. conference. I, I know really how much was uh, hard the decision to go online. Uh, actually, uh, it was uh, the success uh, of the conference was not uh, taken uh, for, for granted at, at the beginning. Uh, on the other hand, it's been really a great, great success. Uh, so thank, thank you uh, again, and uh, uh, please uh, thanks on behalf uh, uh, um, of the uh, Association of Artificial Intelligence to uh, all your team for uh, the excellent job that you have done. Uh, thank uh, to you, to you all. Adam, do you Great. want to? Great, so thank you very much. So stay healthy and stay sane, everybody, as we see the pandemic through to its conclusion. Uh, let's keep uh, our collegial interactions going, no matter where we are and what time it is. Well, time maybe matters a little bit. But uh, thank you very much for your participation. And so I declare the conference closed. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much, Alan. See you on the other side. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much, Rita. Thank you, Juliana. Thanks a lot. And Michal? Yeesh. <laughs> okay. okay, see you. Bye. See you. Bye.